Mary Meet, my dear soul, welcome to today's tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this reading finds you in a time of love and joy. So in today's tarot reading, we are going to be looking at your twin flame's thoughts, feelings, and actions toward you and this twin flame journey. So let's start off with your twin flame's thoughts. I do feel like your twin flame is still kind of in a mentality that is quite immature. And I don't want to sugarcoat anything for you. I am seeing that your twin flame still has some figuring out and some growing up to do. Now with this Knight of Swords card, I do see that your twin flame still is a little bit flighty. I feel a very adolescent kind of energy from this card. I do feel like your twin flame seems to feel like they have it all figured out, but they still have much to learn and much to experience. I feel like your twin flame um, tends to you know, be a little bit flighty when it comes to their decisions. I feel like they are the type to do spontaneous things um, and act more in alignment with their whims. I feel like they are quite impulsive. And so I see here that they are still trying to figure this out. They are still trying to mature in their mind. They are trying to learn how to take care of a relationship, how to nurture a relationship. And I am seeing with this Fool card that your twin flame has the tendency to be a little bit naive. And I feel like a big part of who they are, um, I feel it has a lot to do with their past and their upbringing. And I do feel like they have been... Um, they've lived a good life. They've lived a pretty, a pretty normal life. They didn't really have that much um, childhood trauma or inner child wounds. I'm not seeing any of that, but I do see that because of your twin flame's upbringing, you know, um, they they tend to act more impulsively and they tend to think in a way that suits them more. And I feel like they're not selfish people. It's just that their acts can sometimes come off as selfish because they are acting on their impulses. They are acting on their whims. And I do see that your twin flame has, you know, has the power, has what it takes to start something, but doesn't always have the follow through. So in terms of their mentality, I do feel like your twin flame does have a bit of maturing to do. And I am seeing here that they are also um, not very good with words. I feel like they try their best to explain uh, how they feel and what they're thinking, but they aren't really the best with how they project these thoughts. I feel like communication is also something that they are trying to work on and you know, I feel like as they develop their communication skills, they will be able to express to you how they truly feel and their true beliefs and opinions and views on love and relationships. Because I do feel like, again, your twin flame kind of had a past that was a lot more easygoing and they didn't really have to face any major consequences, and they haven't really faced any major heartbreaks. I feel like they also are the type to shy away from any like form of confrontation. I feel like growing up, they didn't really get to see how to resolve much conflict. And so whenever things get a little bit complicated, I feel like that is when their flightiness kind of kicks in. And, you know, they'd rather flight than fight. They would rather avoid confrontation at all costs than to be all confrontational about whatever it is that is going on through their mind. So I also see that your twin flame, um, in terms of their thoughts, I feel like they are always ready for a new adventure and I feel like they see this journey with you. I am seeing that they do see how wonderful and amazing and exciting this connection can feel 
and what this connection brings out of them. I feel like they feel so refreshed and they want more of it. It's almost like they get a dopamine kick from this relationship and they want more of it. But the thing is, I do see your twin flame still has some growing up to do. I feel like they 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 feel the power of this connection, but they just don't understand it enough quite yet. I do feel as well that your twin flame in terms of their thoughts they um they tend to gravitate towards situations or people or events that they don't have and i feel like this kind of adds to their flightiness i feel like they get fomo fear of missing out so when they do see that let's say their friends are having more fun in this other place they tend to question themselves and wonder if they are on the right track in life and they tend to wonder if you know they're doing something good with their life because they don't want to be missing out they want to be experiencing life to the fullest so i'm getting a very like immature kind of energy it's very naive and there's nothing wrong with that you know we all go um through our journey at our own pace so no judgment here for your twin flame but i do sense that there is still some growing up to do and you know getting over this whole fear of missing out kind of feeling i feel like that kind of is something that sparks up in terms of like relationship conflict because they always don't want to miss out because they always fear of missing out um, of fun or experiences with the other people that they surround themselves with i do feel like you know that's something they need to work through and they have to learn how to prioritize how to follow through something that they have begun or committed to so i am picking up on some flighty um, mentality and this is something that they are going to be working through i am seeing so i i do see here that you know this whole um immaturity thing this is not gonna last forever they will work through this um, but this is kind of just where their head is at in the current moment. So now let's take a look at your twin flame's feelings. So in terms of your twin flame's feelings, I am seeing that they are still getting to know the depth of their emotions. They do not... Um, as I mentioned with their thoughts, you know, they have not really experienced much yet. They still have a lot to learn and a lot to experience. I feel like when it comes to their emotions, they have never traveled so far into the journey of their emotions. They haven't really explored the depths of how they can feel, how they can love and how they can you know, receive love as well. So I do see with this Empress card that your twin flame feels a little bit insecure when it comes to you because they feel a little intimidated. Again, they can feel the strength and the gravity of this connection, but they don't quite understand it yet. So because they still are a little bit immature in their mind, they feel a bit insecure when it comes to this connection. And so I feel like because of this insecurity, they tend to shy away from the relationship. Maybe you might feel a little bit of a push and a pull because your twin flame it, like wants to give. Your twin flame wants to love and your twin flame wants to be loved. But the thing is, that part of them that is insecure, it kind of pulls them away. It, it kind of separates them and creates this block or this this great wall that stops them from feeling fully. So I do see that, you know, they still have that um, insecurity. And I feel like that has that that's that just goes hand in hand with the immaturity. But in terms of how they feel about you, they feel like they have won. Okay, I see this with the Six of Wands. They feel like they have won. But what's interesting to me is they try to appear in a way that they are more figured out than they actually are. They want to impress you. And they. I feel like they also want to show you that they are not as attached or as invested as they are. Because, again, they feel insecure about 
this love. They feel insecure about this connection. I'm seeing that your twin flame does love you and does want to love you in the way that you deserve to be loved. And your twin flame wants all of your love. Your twin flame doesn't want you to give your love to anyone else. And so they try to appear in a way that they think is going to be the most attractive or the most loving um, or easy to love appearance for you to give them that love and that validation to help them go through and understand this immaturity and insecurity so i see that your twin flame um despite the the genuineness or the genuine genuinity of their love i feel like a part of them still has this mask on and I feel like it's because of that wall that they have created um, so that they don't feel as fully going back to what I was mentioning earlier about their past where things have been pretty easy for them so they've never really had to experience um, hardship or conflict or conflict resolution so I do see that that um, you know that makes them feel more insecure because they end up feeling like they are incapable of handling a connection as beautiful as it is. Now, mind you, your twin flame is still in this immature kind of mentality. Their headspace has not matured yet. Their thoughts have not really been um, through enough experiences to be able to understand the strength and the power of this connection. And so I feel like they are trying to just like fake it, um, not their emotions but rather how they come off to you they are trying to fake it to appear in a way that they can still stand on their own two feet without you but how they really feel is that they are weak in the knees for you okay because they feel like they have won whenever they are with you they feel like they have won and i am seeing that you are their wish come true you are the exact person that they are looking for you are the exact person that your twin flame has pictured their life with i feel like even before your twin flame has met you they already had an idea of the kind of person they want to be with and you perfectly depict that person and i feel like this is a little bit intimidating to your twin flame because they just did not they did not expect to meet their dream person this soon because I feel like they thought that they would be much more mature, they'd be in a different headspace, they'd be like in a different situation before settling down. And this is where I am seeing their immaturity kind of like peek through. They don't really know how to deal with this. I feel like they've only imagined what their dream person would be like, but they never really pictured in depth how they can manage and maintain this relationship so i feel like a part of them does feel insecure about that they feel like they are incapable of carrying this relationship and committing to it for the long run okay so i see that your twin flame has heavy emotions for you has very strong and deep feelings for you but they don't really know how to deal with their own emotions that it kind of comes off in a way that is immature and that is a little bit flighty but again your twin flame is still learning how to process their emotions and how to grow up basically so i do see that despite your twin flame having very strong feelings for you they still don't know how to project themselves in a way that is mature so now let's go and see your twin flame's actions. So I am seeing that your twin flame is going to try to stabilize themselves. I feel like they want to give you a mature, healthy, and adult kind of love and i'm not when i when i say adult kind of love i don't just mean like you know it's just it's all it's only what adults do it's so mature there's still a childlike innocence and a childlike energy and playfulness there but they want to step up so that they can be more willing and ready to commit 
for the long term when it comes to this relationship. So I do see them taking action by stabilizing themselves, going through the internal work. Maybe your twin flame might even start going to therapy or something like that to help them understand how they feel. They are trying to ground themselves at this moment because they know that you deserve somebody who will give you love, commitment, dedication, and so much care. And I feel like your twin flame doesn't want anyone else to, to take their place. They know that they are meant to give you that love. And so they want to step up and take action to make this relationship work. And I am seeing with the seven of wands that your twin flame is in fact perseverant. Okay, even though they can be a little bit flighty, as we saw with the fight or flight kind of energy earlier, they will persevere for this relationship. They are ready and willing to do whatever it takes. And that is what is motivating them. That is what is pushing them to ground themselves and stabilize. They know that there are a lot of other energies and a lot of other people who are interested in you but they do not want to see you with anyone else i do see here that they are a little bit um, jealous when people give you more attention than they could again your twin flame still is a little bit immature and jealousy is a completely human feeling um, we can't always run away from jealousy, but we can choose how to act upon them. And I feel like your twin flame wants to prove to you that they are mature, that they are somebody trustworthy, and that they are somebody who you can truly rely on because you trust that you are safe with them. You trust that th things are going to be okay when you're around them. And you're not going to worry about them being explosive or being too childlike or being too... You know, like as somebody who can't handle themselves. So they want to come forward and prove to you that they can give you this relationship that you deserve. They want to prove to you that they can provide a healthy, balanced, and mature relationship because they know that that is what you deserve. And they also know that that is what they want. And I feel like they just have to get out of this like childish energy. And I'm seeing here with the Knight of Wands that they, um, they're they going to do their best to take action, okay? I do see that there's still um, some immaturity here. They're um, still not as figured out as they'd like to be, but they are working on that. And you can't just force or expect someone to mature that fast because maturing takes wisdom takes experience takes time and takes courage as well so i see that your twin flame is trying to work through this so that they can um offer you and provide a stable relationship so i see them taking action here i see them grounding themselves a bit more i do see that they are going to try to do whatever they can um to prove to you that they are indeed worth the weight and worth the fight because I do see that they they really want to show you that they are worthy of your love. So this is what I am seeing for you, Divine Soul. These are your twin flames, thoughts, feelings, and actions. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you would like to join me in the extended tarot reading where we will be looking at the short-term outcome and the long-term outcome of this connection, I will leave the link below. Blessed be.